Those who are not living under a rock know that the U.S. trials have already begun. Some have even successfully gotten their names written on the official list of athletes competing in Paris. In fact, the women's 100-meter Olympic participants have already been determined, and it hadn't been easy. Of course, one of the crowd favorites is. The 2024 U.S. Olympic track and field trials began a few days ago in Eugene, Oregon. Over 10 days of immense pressure, fierce competition, heartache, and glory, an estimated 900 athletes will compete for coveted spots to represent Team USA at the Paris Olympics this summer. Excluding the Olympic Games itself, the trials is considered to be the best track meet in the world. Why? The simplest answer is that the U.S. Track and Field Olympic Trials is a showcase of hundreds of America's best track and field athletes who will be battling for a chance to qualify for Team USA and compete in this summer's Paris Olympics. For many athletes competing in Eugene, simply making it onto the start line is a lifelong accomplishment. Each earned their spot by qualifying for the trials in their events. For more distinguished athletes, however, the trials have a more significant impact on their careers. Basically, it is a make-or-break moment for them. Only three Olympic team spots in each gender are available in each event. Given the U.S. depth in all facets of track and field, sprints, hurdles, throws, jumps, and distance running events, it's considered the world's hardest all-around team to make. At the trials, there are 20 total events for women and men. Here's the thing, there's just one shot for everyone. Those who finish among the top three in their event, while also having the proper Olympic qualifying marks or international rankings, will earn the opportunity of a lifetime. Simply put, the top performers in Eugene will likely be contenders for gold medals in Paris. Speaking of which, the hype around America's top stars, including Shakari Richardson, Noah Lyles, Ryan Krauser, L. St. Pierre, Yared Nuguz, Grant Holloway, and Anna Hall is at an all-time high. Now the question that begs to be answered is whether or not Shakari Richardson, who already once lost her chance to participate in the Olympics, will live up to the hype. So far, it appears as if she will be able to. For one, she has the top qualifying time entering the 100 at 10.65 seconds. Tennessee's Jasha Sears is second on the list with a time of 10.77 seconds, and Twanisha Terry has the third best time at 10.83 seconds. Sears' 10.77 is the top time in the world this year, at least coming into the trials. Nevertheless, Richardson is the defending world champion in the 100 and is also among USA Today Sports 6 athletes to watch out for in the U.S. Olympic track and field trials. The American track star made no secret of the fact that she is trying to make it to her first Olympics. Well, good news, her campaign to go to her first Olympics is off to a solid start. The current 100-meter world champion got through the opening round of the women's 100 meters without a hitch. She ran a 10.88 to finish first in the opening round of the event and advanced to the semifinals of the U.S. Olympic track and field trials. She may not have had the greatest of starts as one of her shoelaces appeared to come untied, but she managed to recover and win her heat and post the top overall time. Definitely didn't have the start that I've been training to have at this moment. But still, not panicking, staying patient, and knowing that no matter what's going on, to continue to run my race, Richardson said on NBC after her win. From there, she's off to the semifinals. There, she had another subpar start, but quickly closed the gap between 50 and 75 meters to pull ahead of the other sprinters. By the end of the race, Richardson won her semifinal heat with a time of 10.86 seconds. Tamari Davis finished second with a 10.99. Richardson and Davis qualified for the final round as a result of taking the top two spots in their heat. While Shakari didn't come close to executing her start how she wanted, in the first two rounds of women's 100 qualifying, she still ended up winning. That tells me I'm prepared, she told NBC in a post-race interview. I just need to put it all together. Up next, 100-meter final. As you know, Richardson has her eye on Olympic gold. Now, she'll have the chance to get it. 
The American sprinting superstar claimed the 100-meter title at the 2024 U.S. Olympic team trials, track and field, under the lights of Hayward Field in Eugene, Oregon, clocking a world lead time of 10.71 for the victory. A few seconds after her line-crossing celebration, she was down on a knee, clearly caught up in emotion. She was 0.09 seconds ahead of training partner Melissa Jefferson, the 2022 U.S. champion. Another sprinter in coach Dennis Mitchell's camp, Twanisha Terry, finished third and also earned a spot on the women's 100-meter team. Richardson let the emotions flow after she crossed the line first, thumping her chest with her hands and then roaring at the crowd after she fought back tears. She then joined Jefferson and Terry, her Florida-based teammates, for an on-track celebration. Notably, all three women will be going to Paris as first-time Olympians. In case you didn't know, all three are coached by Dennis Mitchell. The three huddle together in a hug to celebrate the moment. I feel honored, Richardson said on NBC. I feel everything, every chapter that I've been through in my life has designed me for this moment. She's also happy to witness her friends' wins. To stand here with these amazing women who I have the pleasure of sharing this moment with, who I train with, it's a full circle moment. I'm appreciative, she added. I cannot wait to go to Paris and represent. Shakari was later seen going up into the stands and hugging her grandmother and aunt, who have been pivotal in her life on and off the track. Soon after the victory, her mama, Betty Harp, was seen breaking down in tears. Talking about her grandmother, the U.S. sprinter commented, I owe her my life. She further emphasized how her family helped and supported her in her times of distress. She said, I'm highly grateful for them. Without them, there would be no me. Without my grandmother, there would be no Shaq Harry Richardson. Overall, the American track superstar was shaky out of the blocks in all three rounds. Still, she finished each of those three races exactly where she, and many others, expected, in first place. When asked what winning the women's 100 meter at the trials means for her, she said, um, I feel like it definitely confirms the, the year that we've been training for, preparing for, for, for this moment. It's a full circle moment to be grateful, appreciative of the direction that we're headed towards and where we've come from, and I'm super excited to see you Finally stamping her ticket to the Paris Olympics, the young sprinter couldn't contain her delight. This time around, I feel as if it was more, definitely still confident. Still my exciting, normal self, but more so the overwhelming feeling of joy, Richardson said following the race. Long story short, reigning 100-meter world champion Shakari Richardson will make her Olympic debut this summer in Paris. After finishing first with a time of 10.71 seconds in the 100-meter race finals, the 24-year-old American sprinter qualified for a spot in the U.S. Olympic team. I already have done that. This um, trials have just honestly just known, shown what we have already known, what we've been preparing for with our coach, Green Machine, Dennis Mitchell, as well as our assistant coach, Sharif Lewis. Um, we just know that we knew this moment could be possible as long as we put our minds, our body, as well as our spirit into it. And Who else is vying for a spot in Team USA? Watch this to find out.